Do you have any idea how hard it is to vlog in a house where you're not bothering people? Or where people won't interrupt you? Right now, I'm in the basement, in the bathroom, with the door closed. Hoping that nobody comes to bother me. So, it's story time. Because I need to tell you this because I, uh, I feel bad. I thought it would be a great idea to give Maverick a proper burial. I was going to take him to the woods with Bill, we were going to have like, you know, the little trowel, and we were going to dig him a grave, and it was going to be, you know, a nice little funeral for the hamster. I'm stupid. So we decided to go to Bachelor's Grove. Why I chose Bachelor's Grove, nobody knows, but if you know the story, it's like one of the most haunted, you know, old... German cemeteries or something like that in the Chicago Nen area, whatever. Um, yeah, so we went there, and I wasn't going to bury him in the cemetery, I was going to do it somewhere in the woods outside. So we're walking around looking for a good place, and I see a creek, and I go, I have an idea, let's put him in the creek. He'll, like, you know, sink to the bottom and he'll just float off, you know. Kind of like, in my brain, it was kind of like how. In the Titanic, you know, she lets Jack go and he just sinks into the depths of the darkness and he's gone. I thought it would be like that, you know, kind of like, oh, he's just gone. I'll never let go, Jack. Bye. So, I told Bill, my boyfriend, to dump him in the creek. I said, hey, let's put him in there. It'll be fine. It'll be awesome. That way we don't have to do any digging. And he can be one with nature and, you know, back to where he came from. Although I'm pretty sure he didn't come from the woods in Illinois. Either way, we put him in there, we dump, and then all of a sudden, bloop, bloop, bloop. oh crap, dead hamsters float. I didn't think that dead hamsters floated, but apparently they do. So I'm kind of like, oh my god, my eyes just got big and I went, oh, no, I was upset. So yeah, my hamster floated. And we're like, what do we do? Do we get him out? Do we take him somewhere? And it's like, he floated off to a part and then he got stuck on some rocks. And I'm just like, oh, I give up. What am I going to do? So we just sort of slowly turned and walked away. Because there was nothing else we could do. So I hope that Maverick is in a better place now. Or that he at least made a good meal for some predator. Maybe a coyote. Either way, Maverick is gone. And I'm not sure if I'm going to get a new hamster yet. I haven't decided. Oh, but speaking of things that I'm getting, I checked online because my Crocs came from somewhere in Bloomington, California. And I got tracking information. And as of today, they are at the FedEx location in Chicago, Illinois, which means that I will get them by tomorrow. Yay! I'm so happy because I'm going to get my Crocs, going to get my Crocs. I know this is a weird video. I'm talking about floating hamsters and Crocs, which also float, by the way. That's one of their many, like, positive points. Crocs actually float. They're actually meant to be boating shoes, if you uh, look into the history of Crocs, which I did. So, because I'm a dork like that. So, I don't know. Um, other than that, I don't have much to say. I'll probably vlog tomorrow about me receiving my shoes, because I like them and they're awesome. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I don't know. I'll talk about other things later. Bye-bye!